Hey, this is Physics for Engineering, and today our topic is cylinder rolling downhill. Imagine we have a different type of cylinders with different geometry, different mass, different density, different properties. And we have a hill, and we take two various cylinders with different length, different diameter, different mass, and we let the cylinders run at the same point of time. And our task for today is to understand which cylinder will arrive first in the finish line. We study today how the cylinder's rolling behavior depends on its properties. As a starting point, we will refer to the problem where the body is rolling down an inclined plane. The body has a mass m, radius r, and the general moment of inertia. The body has a linear acceleration a and angular velocity omega. This task was already solved in the previous video, where we obtained the linear acceleration by five different methods. The linear acceleration is represented in general form, where the i is the moment of inertia of the rolling body. As a next step, we need to consider the moment of inertia of the solid cylinder and substitute it to the equation of the linear acceleration. As a result, the linear acceleration is defined as following. From this equation, we can make already first conclusion that acceleration of the solid cylinder does not depend on its geometry, radius, length, and also mass and density. The sequence of this conclusion is that the various solid cylinders always arrive at the same time. Let us now do the small test. Let us take uh, several solid cylinders and put it on the inclined plane. We take blue and gray cylinder with different lengths, radius and mass and let the cylinder run at the same time. As we see, both cylinders arrive at the same time. Let's do it again. So these two cylinders arrive at the same time, which confirms our conclusion that various solid cylinders always arrive at the same time, independent on their geometry and mass properties. Let us now include one more cylinder, which has a bigger radius and different mass. If we release all these three cylinders at the same time, they will roll together with the same speed and arrive at the same time as well. Ok, let us now investigate the cylinder rolling behavior, which has a cut inside, a hollow or has a tube shape. We take the basic equation for the line acceleration and use the moment of inertia of the hollow cylinder. And we obtain the equation for the line acceleration of the hollow cylinder, which is already a function of its geometry, its inner and outer radiuses. If you compare now with the formula for the solid cylinder, we see that the line acceleration of solid cylinder is always higher than the line acceleration of the hollow cylinder. These two accelerations are equal to each other when the inner radius of the hollow cylinder is equal to zero. Therefore, the conclusion would be the following, that independent on the solid cylinder properties, its geometry, mass and density, it has always higher rolling acceleration than the hollow cylinder. At this, in other words, hollow cylinder always loses to the solid cylinder during the races on the slope. For the confirmation, we can do a short test. We compare rolling speed, rolling acceleration and rolling time of the hollow and solid cylinders. The blue bigger cylinder is solid and the smaller gray cylinder is hollow. We just derived that the line acceleration of the solid cylinder does not depend on its geometry and the mass properties and the line acceleration of the hollow cylinder depends on its inner and outer radiuses. Therefore, the solid cylinder will be always quicker than the hollow cylinder. If we now release these two cylinders, we see that the solid cylinder arrived first and the hollow will follow. Let us do one more test with the different cylinders. The bigger cylinder, which is blue one, is the hollow, it has a hole inside, and the smaller cylinder, gray one, is the solid cylinder. If we let the cylinder roll, we see that the smaller cylinder arrived first, since it is solid, and the hollow cylinder arrived second. Let us do it again. So the solid cylinder arrives first, and the hollow is second. And as we have proven before, the rolling behavior of the solid cylinders does not depend on its geometry and the mass properties. If, for example, we take two cylinders with different lengths, different radiuses, different mass and density, 
and let these two cylinders run at the same time, we see that they roll with the same speed and arrive at the same time as well. We can do it again with different solid cylinders, but the result is the same. They will always arrive at the same time. So we just solved the classical problem of the cylinder rolling dynamics, which has a very interesting result. And this is all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.